Hi everyone, welcome back to TensorFlow's tutorial series. This time we're going to show you a visualization tool that's called TensorBoard. With the TensorBoard, you can actually show which is your layer, which is your input, which is your output, or which is your loss. So, and uh, if you can just open the layer, how cool is that? You can open the layer and see and see uh, what is your weight and what is your bias. Even out, even open the weights and see how to define the weights. Use a normal, uh, random normal distribution to define the weights. So uh, use whatever uh, to define your bias. That is the power tool set we are going to talk about today and going to show you how to use the tensor board. So uh, back to the coding. Uh, where is that? Oh, over here. Don't worry about this code yourself. Uh, I, will, uh, I will upload it in the GitHub so you can just download it and practice by yourself. So is the add layer function were this uh, were defined several tutorials ago. Then we can um, uh, we are going to add the placeholder over here and add one layer, layer one, and one more layer for predicting. And use the loss to reduce use the uh, gradient descent to minimize the loss. How to use the tool set that's given by TensorFlow. The first step is to uh, define a writer that called writer is equal to the tf dot trend trend dot summarize summary writer and I will give a, a location that the writer will write the file into. So I'll give the location is logs yeah and we are going to write what is that to write the graph yeah so as you can see we have different uh, tab of this visualization tool this is events we don't have anything right now but we have the graphs the graphs is to show the whole picture of your network so that is the graph over here by session and uh, whatever what, what else so uh, in this example we don't need to uh, have a training step we don't have to fold something and something so just to build the neural network and see the graph so that is <laughs> not finished we have to define something else so we already have the writer right so we're going to uh, add something that to show those things so first step you will see the input right here is the input we have x input and y input that is to say with uh, the tf dot uh, name scope and give it a name that is input in, input input what is the input content is contents all the x's and y x right so look at this is includes all the x input and y input which is the placeholder over there uh, so we can give the placeholder a name which is the name we shows in here x input so the name is equal to x input and also we can copy this name for y input let's change this x to y so we have defined the whole item or whole elements of this picture we can uh, minimize it or maximize it whatever you want so that is the whole input items and what else for every layers for every layers over here we have 
we can show the whole uh, layers as one big pictures and also we can show the individual items like weights and buyers and this operation and and the uh, this uh, activation function as well so so for the whole pictures we just define the name is VSTF I'll just copy it copy paste how it is that uh, layers right so this whole bunch of things is all belongs to layers just, what, what's wrong I think I can only do it one by one I don't know what, what, what is wrong but that's okay so this all the things are belongs to the layer one here the layer one so for the individual we could define another another name scope for the weights right that is to show in here the weights in here the weights and if we open the weights we could have another things over here we can define the other things like uh, give the weights a name for example I can give a name the weights a name of a big W and also we can define the bias as same as the weights bias and give the bias a name uh, name equals to B that's the name of bias and in the name scope of bias and also here is uh, uh, this operation we also could have a name um, and also the activation function if you notice that the activation function don't have something like this we can't actually open it because uh, they're using the uh, uh, default name for the activation function so we don't have to uh, put a name over here I think that is, that is all for the layers and how about the, uh, the loss we could also define yeah, over here we could also define the loss uh, by using this line the loss and just doing this and if you like you can also uh, put a name over here to describe what is this name and put a name over here to define what is uh, what is this operation? I think uh, what is this operation and you can also put a name uh, in here To describe what is this operation? So this depends on you, but I just ignore that to keep it simple and uh, Lastly, I think we could uh, do it for the trend step so this for trend. So in this big picture, we just separate the trend. But if you want, you can uh, you can add to main graph, so it will looks like this one. If you uh, normally we just separate the trend because trend is not the structure of whole whole neural network. Um, I think that is all. So we'll just run it. Run this one. Okay. Oh, before run this one, before run this one, I will show you. Uh, I will just delete this one and uh, wait a minute. So I am right now describe a uh, store in this file, Python 1, and uh, by running this scrap, I will create a, a, a folder in my desktop. Uh, this folder is actually the logs and if I run it again 
okay, you will see the locks being automatically created and this file is the uh, generated file for you, the, the whole graph. So when you want to, uh, to show the graph, uh, actually the graph is in your browser over here. So if you want to actually show the graph, you are going to, uh, you're going to use the terminal. You're going to use the terminal because this, uh, this log folder is on my desktop. So I need to direct to the desktop to cd that uh, the desktop yeah right now the root directory is on my desktop then I can use tensorboard to visualize it and uh, log directory is equal to uh, logs yeah you don't have to specify it. Uh, the file name in the in this folder because once you define the logs folder they will automatically look into the folder and pick the valuable things and put into your browser so uh, if I run this one and it will show a, a link over here you just copy this link and put it into your browser I think Right at right this moment, only the uh, Google Charm can support this graph, I think, or, or events. So you just use the Google Charm if you if you if you uh, guess any error or it didn't show anything in here. Um, so right now it didn't show anything in here because we don't have we don't define any events right now. So we only define the graph at the moment. So this is the graph that we are down right now at the moment. So we uh, removed this from the main graph, and and uh, you can change anything you want in your code. You can change anything you want in your code to see if I change this name, what what will happen in my uh, whole structures, and uh, you can do a lot of things. So we visualize the whole structures, whole pictures of your neural network. You, you could have a better understanding of your neural network and to see the potential way to improve your neural network structure. Uh, so it's more clearly to see, to have a directly visualization on your neural network. So this is for today. And uh, next time we're going to talk about um, the, uh, the tensor board again, but next time we're going to talk about how to create the events and how to create the histograms to show the, 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 uh, the trend steps of your weights or, or bias or your loss, something like that. So hope you will like my videos. If you want to watch more about the TensorFlow or more about the machine learning, you can actually uh, subscribe my, uh, to my channel and uh, to see to see if you, if you can find more. <laughs> so see you next time, bye.